now, if you watch our show, you know that this is Grant and Jeanette, and the reason we're over here is we've set up a little mini kitchen with these beautiful Frigidaire Gallery induction ranges. And Grant, you're gonna take the first one. We're going to most requested recipes for this Thanksgiving. Uh, all, all different types of diets. Mm -hmm. So Jody is in our audience today, and we're going to tackle her question first. Jody. Can you tell us uh, what your request was for yeah. Thanksgiving? My 11-year-old son, Michael, was diagnosed with uh, celiac disease. And last year, I tried to make a stuffing out of a package. And it didn't go over too well. And it's frustrating having to bring different things for him to eat. And everybody else is eating other stuff. You won't know that this is gluten-free. And the secret to it, you probably have it in your cabinet already. So I'm going to show you that in a second. But we're going to get started on sausage, because I like sausage in my stuffing. Do you like <laughs> sausage in your? Yes. Sausage okay with everybody? Good. Um, so over here, I just started to render out some sausage. And basically what that means is I cooked it at a really high temperature. And then I turned it down to the simmer function. And what that's going to do is just cook out the sausage and allow us to cook down all of that fat so that we can easily take that fat out. So now what I'm going to do is just put this sausage drain it on off. a paper yep. towel line plate. Yeah, we're just going to drain that off. And then we're going to add in a stuffi stuffing must-have flavor, which is butter, right? Because you need butter in your stuffing. <laughs> so I, when you make a... I, I do find it uh, a little ironic that he's draining off the fat from the sausage <laughs> so he can put a stick yes. of butter back in the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, and rendering out that sausage really helps us. Um, and the exceptional temperature control of this induction range really helps us do that much more efficiently. Um, so now to that butter, I'm going to add in our onions and our celery. Um, and then to make this taste like stuffing, I have some chopped sage and some chopped thyme. And then we're going to put a bunch of poultry, poultry seasoning. seasoning. How many boxes of poultry seasoning do you have? Because every year you're like, do I still have that or did I throw it away? <laughs> so you buy yet another box? Please. <laughs> we gotta rotate those things or date them or something. <laughs> okay, um, so, so you just you let got your, your uh, celery and onions cooked yeah. out there. Then, so then that, what happens? Well, it is the holidays, right? So let's add a little bit of wine to it. Is that okay with everybody? Um, so then you just let that cool down. I have one back here that's already cool that I added the sausage to. Gotcha. And I think we're ready to build our stuffing, right? Um, so I told you guys that we're going to add in a really secret ingredient to make this gluten-free. Has anybody, does anybody think they know what it might be? Because I'm about to show you. It's some oat cereal, right? Everybody has this in their cabinet. So we're just going to put that into our cooled stuffing mixture. We're for real? Add in, for real. And it's going to taste just like stuffing. I know it sounds crazy. I'm a little crazy. But <laughs> it tastes just like stuffing. Sausage. Um, Sausage Cheerios, basically. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it for breakfast. <laughs> um, so we're adding in two eggs. That's going to help bind everything together. Some Rachel, eggs. Do you want to throw in that? Yeah, we have some turkey stock over some there. Some turkey stock. Stock um, in a box for real should be on the list right behind, right behind the wine. Yeah. If the turkey is undercooked, carve it in the kitchen, pass it through the bath of turkey stock, and it cooks it through instantly. If the cookie, if the turkey is overcooked, you put it through the water bath and then platter it and it'll make it moist again. And the stock in the box also allows you to take any overcooked vegetable and turn it into soup and to make extra gravy, like a whole quart of extra gravy that you can add your pan dripping gravy to to stretch it. You're like a tip machine today. That was like a countdown. Um, so then you just mix everything up. You throw this into a casserole dish and you cook it up. I have one back here that's already cooked so we can taste it. Is it nice and warm? Because I want yes. her to be able to try it. Yes, I have one in the oven back here. here Incidentally, I want to say we're, we're cooking over here because we wanted to show off uh, to you guys the Frigidaire galleries. These are freestanding induction ranges. These are beautiful. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Frigidaire Gallery because they hooked us up for the whole season. My entire kitchen is their beautiful stuff. So thank you. Doesn't that look yummy? I'm shocked. I think they're going to be my it's, car. It smells, it smells really good. Yeah. Pretty and good. it actually looks really good. They get really that crispy, really those little O's. I want to taste it with you. OK, taste. OK, Cheers. it's as hot as molten lava. Good luck. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It tastes delicious. Seriously. Is it good? This is really good. And you can't tell the Cheerios. Thank you. Yeah. 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 This is awesome. I'm Sammy from Matawan, New Jersey. And I need help with a Thanksgiving dish this year. I've lost 170 pounds over the last seven years. I love Thanksgiving and all of the delicious food, but I don't want to gain the weight. I've worked so hard to keep it off. Hey, Mom. 
This year, I'm going to my parents' house and I'd love to bring a healthier option of my favorite dish, potatoes. I want everyone to enjoy them, but I want to feel good about them being as healthy as possible. Any good ideas? So, we are back with our most requested show and my friends Grant and Jeanette from our crack culinary squad are performing the solutions to these Thanksgiving questions. That was our amazing viewer, Sammy. We brought her in today so she can taste test Jeanette's recipe mm -hmm. solution. And we both start in the same place on this. Mm -hmm. I think parents, especially, that are worried about children's nutrition should know the difference between a sweet potato and a potato is huge when it comes to uh, nutrients, exactly, period. Exactly. One of the most nutrient dense per ounce um, item that you could buy in the entire produce department is a sweet potato. Sweet potato. Very, very nutrient yep. dense. So what are you gonna do so today? So it's helpful that sweet potatoes are a really important dish for Thanksgiving, because like you said, they are so healthy. Right. And congratulations, by the way, like huge lifestyle change, incredible. Uh, Yay, Sammy! not be like the most indulgent holiday as well. Turkey is really low, you know, high protein, low fat. Um, so I'm gonna show you a healthied up sweet potato casserole um, that I think no one's gonna notice that it's healthy because like we said, sweet potatoes are so good and sweet by nature that they don't, you won't miss all the heavy cream and everything. Right, right, right. So um, I just added a bunch of about three pounds of sweet potatoes to um, cold water. So um, I'm cooking this today on the induction range um, and depending on what you're cooking, it can boil water in under two minutes. So these are gonna cook up really, That's where really my mom quickly. Loves these, exactly, they're so, quick. so fast, yeah. so quick. So right here I have ones that um, I boiled. You just wanna boil them maybe like eight to 10 minutes until they're fork tender. All right, so then I'm just gonna mash these um, with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then um, instead of heavy cream and all that butter, I'm actually using buttermilk, which by it's nature- Is made with skimmed exactly, milk. Exactly, is right. low fat already and t with um, tons of protein. And I think it adds a nice little tang, tang to it. Tang too, you know? also. I, just, I like using buttermilk in a lot of recipes. I replace it um, for milk or cream or anything. So I give those a good mash. And it has a viscosity to it that's it similar to cream, exactly. but it's made out of skimmed exactly. milk. Exactly, right. exactly. I feel like I'm cheap. Right. But it's, it's all gonna be really healthy and tang. Rachel, you hit me with a little nutmeg. Yeah, I'm gonna um, get you some more salt because that Thank was you. not nearly <laughs> enough. All right, thanks. Um, so I'm gonna just mash these up, like we said, a little bit of buttermilk, salt, pepper, and gotcha. egg. And then I'm just gonna do a small drizzle of maple syrup. Maple syrup's also an ingredient. I like to right, use- Right, you don't need a ton of brown sugar. Just no, a little no drizzle of the, of the good dark amber exactly. maple syrup. And maple syrup's a natural sweetener, so that's a really nice option for this. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna swing around and we're gonna throw those mashing. in these casserole dish right here. Gotcha. Um, and I know in my family, I'm not sure in yours, we love the sweet potatoes with the marshmallows on top. And obviously marshmallows Aren't, aren't the most healthy ingredient. So um, we were thinking in the kitchen and we thought, why not top it with a little bit of banana? Yeah, our um, friend Emily puts yeah, a little banana exactly. in her mashed sweet potatoes. I, I love yeah. that, exactly. Yeah. Add a little bit more sweetness. So you just shingle these up really, really nicely, um, you know, in the same way you would use marshmallows. And I have one in the oven. Um, so then you just pop it under the broiler. Gotcha. And then I've got one working in here. Okay. Um, pull it out with the mop heat. Thank you. And then I'm gonna put the bananas underneath. Great, thank you. Focus on your beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God, it's Look gorgeous. Look how pretty that guy. And then, and then pop it with a little bit of toasted pecans for like that little and extra. Pecans. Add some toasted pecans for a little extra crunch. That is gorgeous. We know gorgeous. how good nuts are for you, extra Just protein. gorgeous. But I think if you brought this to Thanksgiving, like who would notice that that Sam, was? Sam, come on up yeah, and look, it's up. beautiful. I want, I want you to try it. <laughs> look how pretty that is. Amazing. It was really easy, very few ingredients. But look at how the sugars, the natural sugars in the banana caramelize oh like God. that. Isn't that Give it pretty? A try. It's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You put it really good, right? You wouldn't know that was like anything else, you know what I mean? Real and good. you can really feel good about even having seconds. Oh my gosh, yes. You look so hot. Oh Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> All right, take it back to your chair, finish them up. Our last question comes from an audience member. We got a man in yes. the studio, Jason. Right over there. Jason, what's your question? Unfortunately, Rachel, I am lactose intolerant, so I would love to bring a uh, recipe or a dish to Thanksgiving that. So you have something to eat. I can enjoy and that I can share with the rest of the family. Gotcha. 
whole Okay, other guys, what are you doing for them? I have a really exciting fix for this one, Jason. Um, and it's a very secret ingredient that's going to change your dairy-free lifestyle, I think. It's something I'm really passionate about. Um, so I'm gonna throw in um, a little bit of shallot into this um, cast iron pot. I what have are we about, trying to oh, make? Sorry, we're going to make, we're going to <laughs> I'm make. I'm like, wait, did she skip over the part that. about we're what we're make making? <laughs> no cream, creamy wild mushroom soup. So it's really rich and thick and creamy, and it's really actually great to take to a potluck because soup will serve a crowd and you just wrap up the pot and go. Right. So um, into this cast iron skillet, I have about two pounds of cremini mushrooms. Um, and you want to cook mushrooms over really, really high heat and get a nice brown on everything and get the moisture out of the mushrooms. So these cook for like eight to 10 minutes until they're really, really brown. At least. And exactly. Definitely do not add salt to mushrooms until they are fully brown. You're slowing down the process, exactly. of course, because salt draws liquids out. Brown mushrooms completely first before you add your salt. Exactly, I'm gonna add my salt in here now because they have a nice brown on them. So when you're browning the mushrooms, you wanna use really high heat um, to make sure that you're gonna get all the moisture out of them. And when you're cooking over induction, um, it's really easy to adjust the heat for any kind of cooking, like browning, simmering, or sauteing. So I so add you in a little in bit a of bunch shallot. Of shallot yes, right? Grant, so lovely, thank you. Chopped up a little bit of garlic. I'm gonna and throw some that in here. thyme. Some nice fresh thyme, all the flavors of Thanksgiving. Yes. Um, and then I'm gonna throw in um, some cauliflower. Cauliflower is one of those ingredients, I, it's like easy to throw in somewhere because it's a little flavorless. It, it, it tastes like what you're flavoring around it. Mm -hmm. um, so and it makes a nice creamy, uh, has a creamy consistency when you puree it up. So I'm gonna throw in about four cups of cauliflower. And then here comes the secret ingredient. And this, we can chat after the show and I'll give you some more recipes for this as well. This is a cup of raw cashews. So um, I don't know if you've ever tried this cashews before. Cashews are the vegan substitute for cream in exactly. a lot of dishes. Creamy pasta sauces, cream-based soups. It's really just ground up raw unsalted cashew. And it really makes like a really thick, you wouldn't really know the difference between heavy cream and that. So I throw about a cup of some raw cashews in there and I let that soften. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna deglaze with just a little bit of sherry because I like the way that sherry Sherry and mushrooms, mushrooms get along beautifully. Very really beautiful. lovely. And then um, these are just some reconstituted porcini. Reconstituted porcini is going in. So it's like, and I know um, you also have a lot of vegetarians in your family, you were saying. I do, I so do. this is a very like kind of meaty soup and still creamy and satisfying. And then um, veg without stock. Adding, exactly, so yep. I'm, adding, I'm adding in vegetable stock. You can use beef if your family's not vegetarians. Um, so you wanna add in another two quarts of the stock. You're gonna bring that up to um, a boil. And, and then, then let it cook till everybody's tender, let it cook, right? And then you're just gonna puree it um, until it's completely smooth. I'm gonna show you what that looks like on this side. Um, it's nice. Oh and wow! Look it's at that. So thick. Look, I don't know, like look, look how creamy oh. without any. I heavy, mean, it's beautiful. Yeah. Without any. Yeah, heavy cream. Want to give it a try? Can I put a little chive on top? Oh yeah, a little chive. Um, and cooking on these induction ranges is really great because um, the, range, Isn't it gorgeous? the range doesn't get hot, but the pot does. So if right. you spill anything, I'm really Thank messy you. in the kitchen. If you spill anything, it's a really it easy clean up. It doesn't stick, right. exactly. Um, so let me know what you think about that. Grant, would you like mm. some? Yes, please. <laughs> oh my God. Look, Grant's standing there like, <laughs> please, can I have some more? Yes, you can. Oh, this you. is delicious. Is it great? Oh my God, it is so good. did you good. know that there wasn't cream in that? Like, Not at all. Not at all. I mean, it really is a great swap. It's mm. a very, very cool recipe. Thank and you. again, so tasty. you know, yeah. I've been writing a ton of stuff like this all season long. We're doing a little paleo, a little vegan, a little vegetarian. Food can taste good no matter what discipline you're writing in. Whether it's a meat eater or not, that's just tasty soup. Tasty. It's a cool new recipe to, to try for this Thanksgiving. Good job to you guys. Thank, Thank you to our viewers.